She gets, look, she gets a 10. I'm not gonna find any fault with it. I can't search for faults. It has to be very apparent. She gets a 10, so Angie, you mm, keep you We keep love you, but Angie. Oh, done. Angie! Angie is done. Yo, okay, we're marry gonna, me. Okay, well, now we're gonna take it to the big state of Texas, Fort Worth. You know, Brittany J says, look, I'm not that serious, but I can be. So, what do you think? One to ten, ten be. I baby. think she's a pretty girl dressed in a ad, 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 dressed in a way that looks like a crack head. <laughs> Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, because the hat and the hair is a detracting combination. Okay. Unless you in Compton. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Now I think it's a pretty girl, but I think the outfit is designed to appeal a certain way. It's a ghetto ass outfit. But no get, but is ghetto really a fashion statement? Did yes. You just say that. So it's commercial. It must be because I saw one this morning when I went to the store. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I couldn't remember. Wait a minute. It was either chitlin or pork chop. <laughs> Wait a minute. But they were out there in Crenshaw. Commercialism can reside Jeez. in okay. all forms of life and culture. I'll say this. This is a beautiful woman. Okay. I bet you she has pictures in different outfits with right. that body. Yes. And that pretty face. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that you you I think you end up with something different. Now let yeah. me say this too. Now maybe this is just me. Right. I think when you have a certain skin tone, yeah. that your makeup and your hair color should highlight that more. I agree. I don't like this hair color on her skin tone. I hear you. I don't like it. I don't like the lipstick either. Okay. I understand. So, to me, so, or, to me, it's, it all it's blends in too much. Right. So, I don't even like the fingernail thing she's doing. But I think she's beautiful. And if she was a, I bet you, you put her in a different evening gown. Yeah. Hair done a different color, different yes. makeup. Right. Then that would be giving her a 10. Right. Okay. I hear you. If you would just give me, but as it stands. Right. This is like some stuff in the club I used to turn down. <laughs> okay. I'll leave that one alone. Yeah. Okay, so okay. I, but I, but but even you, even with her in the in the ghetto fab outfit, I'm gonna think? give her a nine point two. Very good. I think what you're saying is is this is that yeah she has other pictures. She could be a ten and, if a and, different right. yeah with a different outfit right different hair right. I don't like that hair. Right. Okay? I understand. A different uh, makeup job. Right. That's not so blending in with her skin tone. Right. And I think. And I think it's also we're a product of the times. I and I know the times that uh, we always are in are one that evolves to what's a trend. And sometimes the trends are a certain way, and it's like the skinny jeans. No matter how much you know that you may not want to wear them, it's a signature commercially with artists who are embracing them from the youth. This is a look where I agree with you, Mario. I, I actually say she is really focused, having you focus on really one thing. It doesn't matter if it's the hat or the hair or even the pants that's unbuttoned. They're saying, look at my chest. She says, look, at, I have a beautiful, I have a beautiful stomach. I have a chest that's making you sit there and look closely at it. And that's not the best shaped titties. I'm going to leave that one alone. Let me just... Uh, they good titties. Nah, nah. <laughs> Let me, first of all, we, we're, oh, trying to, to call them titties? We're, we're trying to call we them titties. We're trying to sponsors today? and people. Restuses. Right now, Boobies. we chase fashion twins. people away, and, and we try. I'm helping you. I've still gave her 9.2. I, I, I know you did a good job. I think I'm you a say, wonderful com, evening guy. Well, commercially, I'm just going to say this. Commercially, you have to go after a theme. Yes. Can this woman play some roles? She can be in the play Nylons from yesterday. You know, we went and checked out a play called Nylons, you guys. And they had roles with that women with nylons. You play the role, that's commercial if you're getting paid for it. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think she can do more. Um, I'll say this. I am not going to personally penalize her. Uh, because I know in any given day, that woman was around wearing that outfit, which we know. We would I there. take a shot. You do more than that. So in, in, in the interest of commercialism, I think she can do a little bit better. So I'm going to give her a... Nine. I'm just giving her a nine. It's, you know, because I, there's better alternatives that she can have. So, bottom line, hey, stay with it. You're, she's beautiful, though. She's beautiful. All right, we're going to go to our last choice. Mimi L is out of L.A. So, this is local, Mark. You oh. may be able to ca capture her somewhere. And Mimi says, I'm an old-fashioned girl with some secrets. Now, Mario. With that outfit on, you got some secrets. <laughs> I hope one of them isn't that you have a penis. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm just kidding. You, I'm just, you she said a secret. No, no. This is L.A. No, no. You're not supposed to implant that type of thought. That woman, you're, you, no. Why not? No. You say you have a secret. When, a, when someone's dressed in the freak out when they tell me they have a secret. Right. No. Most of those could be negative. When does she have a secret crush on you? Oh, that'd be different then. Okay. I said that's probably not the secret, though, is it? <laughs> yeah. Secret is probably I have a penis or a venereal disease. Oh, well, I'm you're just kidding. So cynical side. So you don't want to, I bet you, she, first of all, she didn't even say I have a secret. Big <laughs> said she has a secret. <laughs> 
See, that's Vic. She don't blame me for Vic writing you these lines. I, I did not. Mimi, Oliver North. Mimi, you I fine. Deny. Mimi, you fine. Okay. First of all, Mimi, you uh, know, girl, uh, right. you have style. She probably likes to speak very slow and soft. Yep. You know, but she's obviously she's in a sexy outfit, looking good, mm-hmm. trying to check out the wax job. Can't tell totally. Mm. Well, you know, she, is she tall too? Well, I mean, she she's she got height, definitely. She got some height. She's so I think she's sure. a, definitely a pretty girl. Okay, definitely a pretty girl. I'm not, you know, me. I like the more natural brows, a little bit or something, maybe. Right. right. You know, instead of all, I'm not sure. I like the makeup job. And other thing, I'm not big on these outfits like this. Okay. He's kind of okay. old style uh, dominatrix outfits or whatever. <laughs> yeah, but he's having a flashback. You know, that's the kind he's having a flashback. Out, they might have a strap on behind their <laughs> back. He's having a flashback. Yeah, I've had, I've had a bad experience. <laughs> had a bad experience. <laughs> he's having a flashback. Anything that don't, makes don't life. Ask. No, don't ask. Dude. Don't ask. You don't want to know. That's, you can't penalize I her, I still man. give her 9.5. All right, that's good. 9.5. 9.5. Okay, let me go with what I'm saying. First of all, she's a little thicker. So... Part of the commercialism is is that it, it it's just not the fashion industry way to go with the thickness until it changes. If it changes, oh, you you win it. Personally, gorgeous, beautiful, and I also believe that pictures add ten pounds minimum. So usually, what you see is not, not to exactly. Your boobs, they don't. Well, it, Mario, you got to be a add ten pounds of what? Okay, to, just to your head. Your, your head swell up like a cartoon. <laughs> Big ass lips. Wait a minute. First of all, let me just go on and finish what I think is a beautiful woman that you don't find fault with at all. So commercially, the challenge would be that she would be like many women who are saying, I have to lose weight to be in the game of being commercially successful, publication wise, uh, walk, you know, runway wise, the whole thing, or even in videos or even in TV and film. They just want to add to that or else you get into a certain role play. So I'm going to give her, I'll do this. Beautiful. Oh, she's a dime. She's easy. Commercially, she's going to have to give up a few pounds. That's true. that's not my choice. So I'll give her a 9.25. There hey, you go. There you go. I'll give fine. You got to give it to her, man. So I am done, dude. You know what? We just hit, go rate them. Who's our number one, Mario? You want to roll it back, man? Oh, yeah, man. I think this one gets honorable mention. Yeah. Not my. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm marrying her. <laughs> You're marrying her? You got to yes, go. Like, please, come. I'll take you away from Orlando. Number one or two or three. Which so one? Number one for me is number one. It's slam dunk. I, I'm, oh. a num- I'm a number one too, man. Number Imagine one. our children. Angie. 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 Angie, you're beautiful. Oh, man. Angie. You got it. Now, the brothers, you got to try to represent. Scarf Mario. and vest man. Hard. Fashion faux, p- faux it, pop. Yeah, it's not mm, not quite. Uh, Prince man. Uh, Cu- Cuban defector. No, I'm just playing. And then give us free. Uh, all right. Look. So I'm going to go with Prince. You- <laughs> I like that pop life. Pop. Life. Wait a minute. Everybody tease. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. I I truly believe I'm it's it's so close between one and two. No, one and two. I I'm so even close. though this picture is just a photo. Yeah, it's just a photo. But if I had to go commercially, number two. I thought you light skinned brothers, you know. Well he just he brings he's a t- what is he? He's well you know you think he is, is he, somebody. He's Sh- Shiraz, he's probably Middle Eastern. That's right. That's right. And the Lebanese bring that accent on them. Yeah. So, you know, there we go. So we got our number one uh, for um, the girls, from the ladies, Angie. And then we got Nima, number two on the men's list. That's our number one. one. All right, everybody. Done. That's the hot picks, everybody. Hot picks. Done. Yay. Man. Yeah. Man. What What a day. Our first full back. Fullback day. Fullback. We got fullback Jim Brown. <laughs> Who's coming in? Fullback day, man. Quarterbacks. Monday. Hey, enjoy the last uh, day of the year for uh, February. I mean, as far as the month. I'm sorry.